Good evening one and all. I welcome you all to Ganesh IS Academy. In today's session, we'll be seeing environment based current affairs from the date January 13th to January 18th, 2024. Let us get into the news articles one by one. The first news that we are going to see for today is salt water crocodile. Why are salt water crocodiles in news? Let us understand that. And here have they spotted this. Saltwater crocodile. The population of saltwater or estuarine crocodile in Odisha's Bitterkanika National Park has seen a slight increase. That is why it is in news. Okay. So, in Odisha's Bitterkanika National Park, the population of saltwater or estuarine crocodile is increasing. Okay. So, the numbering here is 1811 as of the 2024 census and when it is compared to the previous year census that is 1793 okay so previous year in 2023 the number was 1793 but there was a slight increase to 1811 this year okay the crocodile census is held every year in winter when around 50 percentage of the mud flats get exposed okay so only when the mud flats are exposed the crocodiles can be viewed easily so that the sensors become easy okay and it is done during the winter time that is also important and in 2024 22 teams surveyed numerous rivers creeks and channels over three days which was aided by forest staff and herpetologists who are herpetologists people who are dealing with the study of reptiles are called as herpetologists here okay so this is what we need to understand so about the census what do we have to know so all age groups show marginal growth what does this mean it means the experts are spotted increased counts across hatchlings yearlings juveniles subadults and adults so there is a marginal population growth when you consider it overall okay so there was a marginal population growth overall among hatchlings yearlings juveniles subadults and adults but here one important point to be noted is only adults and subadults are potentially dangerous to humans here okay not the smaller ones so here we understand that human animal conflict is there even with crocodiles okay so there is rising human crocodile conflict which is an important concern here the gradual expansion of saltwater giants range around the human habitations pose a increasing risk here and then Awareness and preventing fatal encounters is very crucial for coexistence of animal and crocodile. I mean animal and humans here. Here the animal is crocodile. Okay. So, this is what we need to understand that there is human animal conflict here. Next is, it is happening in the Bitterkanika National Park. So, we need to know little more details about Bitterkanika National Park. So, it is a national park which is located in the Kendrapara district of Odisha okay and then it is also the second largest mangrove ecosystem after Sundarbans in India okay very important it is the second largest mangrove ecosystem after Sundarbans next this national park is a network of creeks and canals which are inundated with waters from rivers like Brahmani, Baitharani, Dambra and Patasala thus forming a unique ecosystem so it has a network of creeks and canals and they are inundated with the waters of these rivers and it is home to the largest congregation of endangered saltwater crocodiles that is what we are discussing now and then there is a beach near this national park that is Gahir Mata beach this Gahir Mata beach which forms the boundary of this sanctuary in the east is the largest colony of olive ridley sea turtles very important okay mass nesting sometimes called as aribada okay it happens at gahirmata beach the mass nesting of olive ridley turtles is called as aribada okay and then this bitterkanika is also home to eight varieties of kingfisher birds 
which is also a rarity okay so it also houses eight varieties of kingfisher birds this is what we need to know about bitter kanika national park so whenever you study about a particular species in news articles then the locational features are also important there okay where are they found what other rivers are nearby what other locational features are important historic sites near that location all these details must also be covered okay now moving on to the salt water crocodile what are they more details about the salt water crocodile so it is the largest of the 23 species of the extant or the living crocodilians okay there are many crocodilians living and of these there are 23 species importantly and of these 23 this one is the largest one which one the salty that is salt water crocodile also called as salty okay so the salty is also called as estuarine crocodile okay it is called salt water crocodile and sometimes it is also called estuarine crocodile that is because it is typically found in the brackish water of the estuaries so you should not come to an understanding that they are found only in the brackish water of the estuaries okay they are also tolerant with the salt water in the oceans and they can travel long distances over the open ocean thus making use of the tidal currents okay so with the help of tidal currents they can even get into the open oceans and come back okay so they are tolerant to salt water and they are capable of living in brackish water of the estuaries also this is what we need to know here furthermore about the habitat of salt water crocodile which is also called as salty okay so the salty is today found in three locations in india habitats in india there are three locations one is the sundarbans next is the bitterkanika national park which we are discussing now and the other location is andaman and nicobar islands okay so it is one of the three crocodiles which are native to indian subcontinent what are the other two crocodile here one is the magar crocodile and then the other one is gharial so magar gharial and salt water crocodile these are the three important crocodiles which are native to indian subcontinent okay next is it is also found in bangladesh malaysia indonesia brunei philippines papua new guinea australia and solomon islands so they are not only confined to indian subcontinent but they are also found in other places like this okay so salt water crocodiles are found in the estuaries and the brackish waters of these areas also i mean these nations also next is what are all the threats faced by the salt water crocodile the first threat is habitat destruction fragmentation and transformation so their habitat is destructed their habitat is fragmented and their habitat is transformed for some other activities okay so habitat destruction is one main issue for biodiversity conservation okay next is fishing activities are done near their habitats and then hunting for their meat this is another threat that is faced by salt water crocodiles and then poaching for hide for their skin hide is skin okay so poaching for their hide and then retaliatory killing that is when human come in conflict with the animal they might kill the animal okay so retaliatory killing is another threat and then the use of crocodile parts for medicinal purposes this is also there killing of crocodiles for the purpose of medicine i mean for making medicines they are being killed next we need to talk about the protection status of the salt water crocodiles under iucn they are categorized as least concern okay so they are least concern under iucn category and then under sites that is convention on international trade of endangered species of flora and fauna okay under that convention it is placed in appendix 1 okay and there is an exception here except the populations of australia indonesia and papua new guinea which are included in appendix 2 which means there there are more number of salt water crocodile in these areas that is australia indonesia and papua new guinea and there are no much problems like international trade here okay whereas in other area it is kept under appendix 1 which means international trade and other things and trade related threats are happening to salt water crocodiles okay so this is what we need to understand here when talking about sites because it is about international trade of endangered species of flora and fauna 
And then under the Wildlife Protection Act of India 1972, it is placed in Schedule 1, which means highest priority is given for their conservation. Okay, so this is what we need to know about the salt water. <laughs>